But Ron, you have a, a great Twitter success story, social media story. Um, but I feel like maybe for some people, it might be a little overwhelming at times to get involved in Twitter. So kind of like on a day to day, how would you say is a good strategy to make a, an impact in a really kind of simple way? What I like to tell people is, first you need a Twitter account. I mean, I still run into people of uh, journalists who are of all ages. Um, I just met a, 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 an intern uh, who didn't have a Twitter account. and. The way to get comfortable with anything is just to do it, and so um, if if you I, I, so if you have a Twitter account, use it on a daily basis. If you don't have a Twitter account, you need one because this is how we um, this is this is a new way of how we uh, reach our audience, how we interact with our audience, how we keep track of what's going on in the community. So use it every day, and if you if you have a um, a Twitter account, and maybe you're not using it, or maybe you only post every once in a while um, use it just I, I, I keep repeating this use it every day and um, you will find you'll get more comfortable with it and then if something happens like a breaking news story you will get out and you'll just start tweeting it without thinking and uh, that's you know the, the main way to um, learn how to use anything is just to be comfortable with it and you talked a little bit about today kind of an innovative concept of using uh, tweets within your stories as quotes and live blogging. What would you say to somebody who's maybe a little like skeptical of doing something like that? Twitter a lot of times becomes my notebook and it's a great way to not only get the news out there as it's happening, but then you've got it recorded in your Twitter feed and you can go back and you can uh, use quotes, uh, you can, uh, you know, or you can do like we're doing now, you can shoot a YouTube video and you've got a recording, you, you've got a record of the interview that you've done. And so then you can put it out there, uh, people who are interested in that real time news uh, can get it, and, and it becomes your notebook. I use, I use my iPhone now as much as I use a notebook uh, to either tweet or I'll post, uh, you know, I'll collect links from uh, Evernote. Uh, which is another application, and um, uh, yeah, and then you can turn those into stories, and it's 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 uh, uh, amazing how easy it is. And and when you say you know people could be intimidated, I say just try it, and and once once you try it and see how it it it, it makes things go faster. So when I was tweeting from court, I would I would have maybe 200 tweets uh, a day from the courtroom, including quotes, and but I would always write in complete sentences, uh, not using any um, of the, the um, uh, shorthand. So at the end of the day, I would have all my notes from court in my Twitter feed, and I could just I, I could just take them, I could cut and paste them into a text file, and then write some transitions and and, and you know cut, you know use the stuff that I thought was most relevant for the print story, and I'd have a print story. It makes it, it, it makes writing easier. Yeah.